Hello everybody, hello. This is Coffee and Conversations with TK. I am your host, TK, and I am so excited about today. I am just going to give people a chance to come on in. And as you're coming in, I just want you to be aware that I am definitely going to play you some great music, give you something to get motivated today. We are, I'm just excited. It's Saturday, and I just want everyone to come on in, start coming in, and we are just going to give you um, some motivational music while you're coming on in. The song is simply Hang On by Kiara Sheard. And Bishop Sheard says that without turbulence, uh, there can be no growth. So I want you to understand that turbulence is the price you pay for flying high. So with that being said, come on in, enjoy the song. Hello, everybody. Hello, my sister Brittany. Hello, Chair Lady Gordon. Oh, man, tell me where you all are from. Oh, my brother, Pastor Michael Stevenson. God bless you so much. Phaedra, what's up? How you doing? Thank you. Many of you gave me some feedback, and one of those uh, pieces of feedback last week was that, or last session, was that I needed to engage a little bit more with the audience. And so I'm getting a little bit more comfortable doing that. So Ashley, how are you? All the way from Colorado Springs, Colorado, by way of Minnesota. Exciting. Thank you all. Hello. Hello, Jakina. How are you? Blessings to you. I want you to listen to this music. Simply says, hang on in there. Kiara Sheard singing hang on in there we're going to be talking about something very special today the topic will be i can't so go ahead like share love invite a friend like it if you love it share it if you love it love it if you like it come on in everybody thank you so much hey angela oh y'all guess what my, my my favorite guest has joined me his name is vincent carter hey babe how are you um, I want everyone to know, I, I was waiting on him to come in. Uh, I am drinking out of his cup this morning, uh, Just Tie It. Uh, that is the name of my husband's business. For all of you men and young men out there, my husband sells ties. He has an awesome business entitled Just Tie It. And I want you all to definitely... Um, uh, come on in, get your cup of coffee. I'm promoting Vincent Carter's line today. It is just tie it. And as, as I told you in the last session, what I would like for you to do, if you have a business, get your get you a mug, get you a cup, uh, and get something on it where you can see and, and, and remind yourself of your goals. I want you all to take a look, take notice of Vincent Carter's cup. It is just tie it, just tie it. So if you need a tie, if you need cuff links, if you need any male accessories, um, Vincent Carter has you covered. So thank you, babe, for watching. And uh, everybody, oh, my chairman is on, Chairman Larry Christman. Oh, my goodness. This is just exciting. And you all, at 945, we will start sharp. But please continue to enjoy music by Kiara Sheard. You all, thank you so much for coming in. Good morning, Yukita. Shelly Clay, how are you all? We're, this is from all over. We're talking about Denver, Memphis. Amy, God bless you. How are you? I also want to promote very, very quickly uh, one more business. Uh, I want to promote Oliver uh, Johnson. He actually has his own business entitled Trinity Carpet Cleaning. And I want you all to take notice of that if you are in the city of Memphis um, or the surrounding area. He can come and he, I'm telling you, he is phenomenal. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Come on, share the video, share with some others, let them know we're on the air. And it is now 944, and I'm going to just briefly give you um, just something to let you know. I am a manuscript person, so I don't um, want to offend anyone for glancing over to my notes. I don't want to be highly distracting, but I want to stay on course, and I want us to have a very good time with this. So I want us to talk and be successful while we're doing that. So please share the video, and we are getting ready to get started. Once again, welcome, welcome, welcome to Coffee and Conversations with TK, and I am TK, and I'm so excited that you've joined me once again on a Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day. 
beautiful Saturday morning. And the topic of our conversation today is I can't. Many of you were asking, what do you mean I can't? What do you mean I can't? Well, I'm getting ready to jump right into it. So grab you a notebook along with your coffee. Uh, grab your, your notebook, your, your uh, cellular device or your iPad or anything that you are jotting down notes. Uh, successful people definitely take notes, okay? Uh, so I want you all to be, uh, just come on in and continue to share the video. Let them know the topic is I can't. So what is it that you cannot do? The first thing you cannot do, you cannot procrastinate. Procrastination is the thief of time. So why do we procrastinate? The one, the number one reason why people procrastinate is because of fear. We are afraid to go against the status quo. So what we tend to do is we tend to become afraid. And when fear overshadows what we are doing, then we procrastinate. So the one thing that we cannot do is we cannot procrastinate. You have to say that. I cannot procrastinate. Another reason why we procrastinate is because we feel that we do not have enough resources to get up and get moving or the right materials to function in what we are trying to do. Sometimes you have to do it afraid and sometimes you have to do it with the lack of resources, believing that when you step out there, resources will begin to come. So you cannot make the excuse of not having the resource and that's why you're not making a move or getting started. You cannot procrastinate. So I want everyone to understand that we are no longer procrastinating. So I am inviting everyone to this session. It is entitled, I Can't. And the first thing you cannot do is you cannot procrastinate. You must be willing to invest in yourself. And sometimes that investment is simply the time. Do not procrastinate and do not put off the time any longer. Another thing we cannot do, we cannot hold on to people who are not positively vested in our overall success. Understand, you cannot hold on to people who are not vested in your overall success. This is what we call dead weight. Some times we need to relieve ourselves of the dead weight. Pick that dead weight up off of you and relieve yourself of the dead weight. So many times we cheat ourselves out of opportunities trying to bring along dead weight. We're trying to drag along people who are not clearly vested into what we are vested in. Therefore, they're not pushing us to the ultimate goal or the ultimate destiny, and we find ourselves consistently stuck in the same mundane routines because we are holding on to people who are not vested in our overall success. We know those people to be called as leeches. Do you know what a leech is? A leech is something, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an animal uh, that will stick onto you and it will begin to suck blood out of you. We all know that blood carries life. Where there is no blood, there is no life. So what I want you to do, I want you to understand that people sometimes are leeches. They latch onto you, they latch onto you and they breathe and they, they suck all of the life out of you. They suck the blood out of you. And when you are finished dealing with this dead weight or these leeches, you are left with no life. You are left lifeless. And what I want you to understand is that this is what's called major drainage, major drainage, because they're not vested in your overall success. So stop always trying to rescue those who are not mentally ready to rescue themselves. They're not trying to travel down the same road. They're not traveling down the same direction. So your vision and your goal becomes something that is not really of interest to them, but they have held on to you and they have sucked the life out of you to the point to where you have no physical energy or strength to obtain or continue pushing towards your ultimate goal. For instance, you're trying to lose weight. You get you a partner who's also trying to lose weight. But this partner that's trying to lose weight is always encouraging you to cheat on the days that you know that you should not be cheating on. 
They're not telling you not to eat the bread and they're not telling you not to drink the soda. They're encouraging you to eat the bread and to drink the soda and we'll just work it off a little later. That's a leech because ultimately you may be still working out, but you're not reaching the goal in the way and in the fashion that you need to reach it because they're not vested in themselves. They're definitely not going to be vested in you. So if you remain closed, in that type of entanglement, you will never experience pure progression. So release people who are not vested in your overall success. Listen, my friends, iron sharpens iron. You do not ever see iron being sharpened by plastic because it cannot happen. So stop rubbing up against those people who are dull and causing you to become dull with them because I'm letting you know when you take sharpness and you rub it against dull, the sharpness will begin to become dull. So what I want you to understand is that you are brilliant and you are sharp. So make sure that you determine in your mind that you're going to allow iron to sharpen iron. The next thing we cannot do, I cannot underestimate my value. Listen, stop paying everyone else for information and giving your giftings away for free. Hello, did I say something? Yes, I did. You cannot continue to give everything you have that God has placed inside of you away for free while you are paying to receive information. This is another thing that we can expand in. Uh, many times we find ourselves being the counselor or the person who is giving great information and great advice. What I encourage you to do is go become certified. Get certified as a person who can give this information and you become so much more credible as you begin to charge people for the information that you are giving them. Do you know why you are charging for information? Because time is money. Money equals time. Time equals money. You cannot continue to give away your giftings for Free. Now, when I say that, I am saying we have to be very serious and we have to be very professional in this area. Many of us in ministry as well in business are not taken seriously because we sell ourselves short so many times. So what I'm encouraging you to do is to become a polished professional in not under um, estimating your value. So I'm not saying you create contracts that cause you to um, give people things where you need uh, water imported uh, from Australia and peaches coming from uh, the great land of South America. I am saying that create something that causes you to be credible so that you are a professional in not underestimating your value. Now, the only way that you cannot underestimate your value is that you must become somewhat of an expert in the area. You have to consistently stay around the information. That's right. If you're asked to perform a task, make sure you understand how to do that. Do not sell yourself as something that you are not. Okay? Stop selling yourself as something you are are not. Do not sell yourself as something you are not. However, for the giftings that you have and the giftings that God has given you, you must know that they cannot be underestimated. So what I'm saying to you, um, create a business email, draft a small contract, be willing to go invest in yourself to get certified. Stop calling yourself a life coach and you have not been certified as such. Yes, we have coached a lot of people in life, but if you're going to take on that type of credibility, go get certified so that you can be credible. Get some letters behind your name. Get some certifications under your belt. Go and, the, and then people can take you uh, as a serious professional. What's another thing? This segues into another thing we cannot do. I can't avoid information. 
I challenge all of you, I challenged you the last time to go watch Shark Tank, Undercover Boss, The Profit. These are uh, things for business owners. When you go and watch these things, they be these t types of television shows, they begin to expand your knowledge beyond your sphere, beyond your trunk, beyond your garage, beyond your, your storefront boutique or your um, your mall boutique experience. It, ex it begins to expand you further than where you ever could take yourself. I am encouraging each and every one of you to make sure that you invest in information. I have a closed group called Coffee and Conversations with TK. And inside of this closed group, you can ask to, uh, you, I'm inviting you right now to actually uh, go and, and become a member of that group. Ask to join because inside of that group, we give you entrepreneur uh, articles and things that you can read. The one thing about uh, us as a people in general, we do not stop to read. I'm not talking about race. I'm not talking about demographic. I am saying people in general do not stop to read. The majority of us just want to watch it or listen to it, but we don't stop to read it for ourselves. We don't take notes. We don't write. We don't translate information well. And what I'm telling you is we cannot operate underdeveloped in any area. You cannot operate underdeveloped in any area. Therefore, you cannot avoid information. So please invest in information. If you're walking in Barnes and Noble, go and invest in a book. I'm encouraging you to go to Barnes and Noble. I understand that the internet houses a plethora of information and, and it houses things that we can just, we can type in a keyword and find all of the articles that we need. But I'm encouraging you, get up, go walk around a bookstore, Go back and visit the library. It still exists. Go to the library. Go invest. I mean, this is where you find people who are vested in the things that you are vested in. This is what gets you out of the circle of the, the routine, the mundaneness of the same routine, and it captures another level of who you are because as you're in the entrepreneur section in Barnes & Noble, guess what? There's another entrepreneur there. There is someone waiting to share information. So what am I saying? Do not avoid information so you can't avoid information. The next thing, wake up people, you can't sleep all day. You cannot sleep all day. Stop sleeping all day. What am I saying? I'm not saying you're physically sleep. Many of us are woke, but we are sitting around daydreaming and daydreaming does not produce movement. Stop daydreaming and get up and make some move. Put some passion behind the dream and it will then materialize into vision. I saw a post by Misha Maynard, one of my Facebook friends and one of my close and dear sisters. She asked the question. She posed the question on Facebook. She said, what is the difference between a dream and a vision. I want you to begin to write that down and I want you to answer that question. What is the difference between a dream and a vision? It is a conglomerated, saturated uh, element of a market right now where we're hearing words like goals, visions, dreams, entrepreneurs, small business owners. Yes, the market is saturated with those words. The world is saturated with those words, but come on, let's define dream and vision. I want you to define it. I went to her page and I posted what I felt the difference between a dream and a vision was. And I want you to do the same. So allow the vision to materialize the dream. Okay? And the only way that vision can materialize dreams is that you must make a move. You have to be progressive. You have to get up and make movement. So in order to do that, let me tell you, it, you have to step into the forefront of vision and you cannot operate without a planner. You cannot operate successfully without a planner. You cannot house everything up here and be successful. Invest in a nice planner or a nice journal. I wrote a journal entitled Diamonds for Your Day. It is... um. 
on amazon.com diamonds for your day you can order diamonds for your day at any time but I wrote a journal and the journal has some nice little excerpts in it and some places where you can write some things down write down some vision my journal is not the only journal out there I am encouraging you to go invest in a nice planner they have nice planners at Walmart nice planners at Kinko's Office Depot and of course you can get anything offline so I want you to invest in a nice planner here again is an avenue that will allow you to stay focused and not scattered it'll allow you to stay on target because so many times we commit ourselves and we over commit ourselves because we do not have things written down so whether it's in a planner or on your uh, electronic device whatever means you need to do to keep yourself targeted and focused please invest in that please do that I am letting you know that you can get this at any type of uh, store such even Kinko's uh, office the office uh, sector of Kinko's will sell a planner nice planners and I just get planners and different notebooks and I write down different things because as I write them it starts to become clear to me and as it becomes clear to me it lets me know I have work to do I have to get to that goal so you cannot operate without a planner come on another thing we cannot do we cannot be afraid to take a chance stay with me people we cannot be afraid to take a chance not only in business but we cannot be afraid just to take chances in our personal lives get up and go travel go get across the bridge I know people sitting right here in Memphis who are they're afraid to cross the bridge to go to Arkansas go across the bridge get across the bridge if you're in Arkansas come across the bridge to Memphis come on get up go do something don't be afraid to take a chance try a different food go downtown walk in a different area go visit another park eat something different just do something different come on say it with me I cannot be afraid to take a chance do not allow life to just roll past you and you um, continue to allow opportunities to pass you. Opportunities are not anything mysterious. They, you pass opportunities all the time. When you shop at the exact same store, when you eat at the exact same restaurant, you are passing up an opportunity because you know why? There are millions of things you can do differently. Am I right? I know I am. If I'm right, give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. If I'm right, you can do something different. Shop at a different store. Go visit someone. Write a card instead of sending someone a text message. Do something different. All I'm saying is you can afford to take a chance. You really can. And guess what? Stop feeling sorry for taking days of relaxation. Stop feeling sorry and stop feeling sad because you went to the spa. Invest in yourself. Do something nice for yourself. I'm telling you, it will make your world so much more uh, happier. That's why people tell me all the time, I see you smiling, you're so jovial, and, and I wonder what creates that happiness. You know what creates happiness for me? is being happy with myself. And the way I'm happy with myself is taking chances. Come on, take a chance. Try golfing. Try tennis. Go to Pilates. Do something out of your element. Go to Zumba. Do something that in your culture says that it's just not something that we do. Go do something else. Travel, see the world, pick a flower, take a chance. That's all I'm telling you to do. Take a chance. Another thing we cannot do, and I'm, and I'm coming to a close. Another thing we cannot do, we cannot be easily offended. Critics will always be in the vicinity of success. I want you to write that down. Critics will always be in the vicinity of success. Critics will always be in the vicinity of success. Thus, you've got to put on some tough, successful skin. And you have to push through the critics. I'm letting you know I had to post something last night because every time uh, I try to do something, I am with critics I am I'm letting you know I'm encouraging you because I have to encourage myself I have to fight through critics what is she doing now why is that necessary what what why does you why do you have to do that and you just finished doing something else 
Anytime you are moving towards success, critics will always be in the vicinity. That's why you've got to put on some earplugs and you have to keep it moving. To defend the premise of your vision and your goal, you must master not being easily offended. Okay, be careful who you allow in your success space. Be careful who you allow in your success, success space. Everyone is not happy that you are moving towards success. So you have to know who to allow in your bubble of success. So be careful of that. Always allow success to be the noise. You don't have to answer anyone. You must allow success to be the noise, okay? So push past the external negativity and allow the success to be the noise. Listen, even Jesus, as he was going to the cross, had to allow success to be the noise. Am I right? He could not answer those who were criticizing him. He could not even answer to the angels who told him, all you have to do, he couldn't even answer give an answer for the idea that he could have had angels to bring him off of the cross. He couldn't even answer that. So what am I saying? Let success be the noise. Victory is in the success and noise is in that same victory. So allow the success to be the noise and stop allowing uh, negative uh, factors to create um, this level of offense where you're not moving forward. One of the last things I'm going to say Never accept, you cannot accept failure as final. You may try something and it just may not be a good fit. This is not the end of the world and it's not the end of your story. Understand, listen, masterminds such as you, masterminds such as myself, we've attempted millions of things. We've tried it. I'm going to even let you know, history even tells us that Abraham Lincoln, before he became one of the most powerful presidents of the United States, history allows us to see inside of the life of Abraham Lincoln that he tried business and failed many times. He even ran for president and, and failed several times before he was elected. So failure is only designated for those who will accept it. Write that down. Failure is only designated for those who will accept it, okay? If you're willing to accept failure, then failure shall be your portion. Failure is only for those who will accept it. But for those of you who have shared this video, for those of you who are on with me right now, for those of you who, who have joined Coffee and Conversations, and for those of you who, like Vincent, went and got this cup made just to see the vision and bring it to pass, just tie it is on a cup now. For those of you who are not willing to allow six, uh, for failure to be uh, your portion, listen. I'm telling you, for those of you who do not allow that, you are in the right game. So go ahead, try it. You may fail, but that's all right. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of your story. The last thing you cannot do. Somebody say the last thing I can't do. The last thing I cannot do is stop. You must keep moving. Yes, we get discouraged. And sometimes life seems easier if we just sit in a depressed fetal position. I have had some situations in my life where it just seemed as though if I could just stay in my room, coddled in my bed in a fetal position with all of the covers over top of my head, life will just pass me by and I, and I would be so much better. But I'm letting you know, trust me when I tell you, you cannot stay there. Depression is for those who do not want to see victory and success. I'm telling you, get up out of that fetal position. Straighten yourself up. Put some, put some oomph into your life. Get yourself back in order. Flick your hair, wash your face, brush your teeth, put some makeup on. For you gentlemen out there, go get a fresh haircut. Get something on yourself to say that I can do this and I will not stop. I, if you want some clap back, tell your depression, I will not stop. Tell your failure, I will not stop. I will not stop. You cannot stop. What you have to do, you sometimes have to chill out, yes. You sometimes have to regroup. You sometimes have to go and relax. Go to Starbucks and, and, and get yourself back together. But understand, you must keep on moving. So, what am I telling you? Find people who are like-minded and success 
fall and get inside of those circles to maximize every potential that you have. I thank you so much for joining me. I want you to understand that today I can't. I can't procrastinate. I can't hold on to people who are not vested in my interests. I cannot stop. I cannot avoid information. I cannot do this without planners. I cannot uh, allow leeches to be uh, sucking the life out of me. I must continue to move in a positive manner. The one thing we cannot do, and I'm going to reiterate this, you cannot procrastinate. Get up off of the seat of procrastination and get to moving. Do something. I hope that this has been an encouragement to you. I hope you have been inspired. I hope Hope that you uh, come back and see me again. The next time is going to be so much more fun. We're going to have uh, some testimonials. I thank you all for joining me. I thank you all for uh, sharing this moment with me. I would like to once again thank Vincent Carter for going, getting out of the box, making his dream a reality. Just tie it is on a cup and I'm drinking out of it this morning. This has been Coffee and Conversations with TK. Remember, share this video with a friend, inspire somebody, love somebody, get up and make some moves and let's be successful together. Blessings.